right, welcome back to Terrible at Fishing, everybody. So, I don't know if you guys even want to, you know, check this out. But, in my recovery over the last nine years of dealing with life-threatening events, I, I, you guys all know I'm a writer. You know, I've got a brand new book on fishing that just hit the market. Uh, I know you guys will like that. <laughs> but, I do have, I write short articles. And my short articles are um, rather more of a catharsis for me um, to help me get through PTSD and other things. Um, so I thought it would be good to, I don't know, blog it. I don't know. Anyway, I, I've got a link down below and I want you to check out this blog. So I'm going to go to a screen capture here. And this is my blog. Um, reflections on a lifetime learning from my experiences and I'll put a link down below and um, it's really it's pretty simple I, I just posted something that I wrote this morning and I uh, so hit blog and um, this is why is resentment easier to hold on to than affection it's just my thoughts on why people would rather be angry at somebody than want to if forgive somebody and a couple really good um one analogy one uh or t a couple experiences in here that i have had um but i try to keep them fairly short but at the same time hopefully these particular little lessons that i have learned um help you and uh like i said you know i, I try to keep them within 800 words uh, of each one of these articles and I do have quite a few that I've written so as time goes on we will post them so tell me what you think about it um, so you know reflections on a lifetime learning from my experiences is the uh, the title of it and uh, I don't know I it's more for me, I guess. You know, it helps me get better. But at the same time, I think with each one of these articles, um, there's a lesson learned for me. A and hopefully it'll be a lesson learned for the somebody who reads them. And uh, I don't know. Let's see what, see what you think. Um, in the meantime, um, I got more stuff to record and, and stuff like that that and uh, I gotta get used to this new bait caster <clears throat> new rod coming in new reel coming in a bunch of baits coming in we got all sorts of cool stuff coming in so um, keep tuned I hope you like today's video check out the link to, below to my blog and uh, again there's only one article on it right now but as I continue to post on it and I write probably two articles a week um, is what kind of what I do now, you know, I'll wake up and I, something just is hitting in my head or something happens during the day and I'll sit down and I'll reflect on it on how better I could have handled it. Uh, or, um, I think about something I didn't handle very well in the past and how better I should have handled it or how did I fix it? Um, those things. And then the road that I'm traveling, you know, I've survived death to find, you know, death uh, 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 incidents eight times and uh, stuff like, you know, I wonder we're not going to talk about the, the, the sad stuff too much, but uh, if we do, it'll end up happy because I hate sad stories and look, you know, I'm kind of, I'm a happy guy. So I hope you guys check it out. Uh, leave some comments on the blog or down below this. And tell me what you think. Um, again, these are just my thoughts. Kind of scary when you get in the mind of Mike Rafino. It really is. Some people, uh, I don't know if you can... Nobody really wants to get in my head. <laughs> There's a lot of room up there. <laughs> Take care, everybody.